a number of people out there who still support Trump all the way after everything that's happened. And I think that's weird, but I can at least understand when people support him because they like Trump's policies and they think that it would be good for the country to continue those policies. Okay, that's fine. I can understand when people even say, oh, Biden is not my president. Uh, okay, fine. I mean, you know, that's fair. Look what the, a lot of the left did after the 2016 election. Oh, Trump is not my president. Okay, fine. You know, but if you support what happened on the 6th when people stormed the Capitol, you support those people's actions that ended the lives of five people. You support those actions and you somehow think that those people are patriotic you know, you, you support the notion of essentially overthrowing the government because your guy lost. If you support installing Trump for another term at all costs, you can't call yourselves patriots. You could call yourselves fascists because that's what you are. And a number of you who support those things You'd be totally fine with the government taking over social media, the government taking over mainstream media so they can't say bad things about Trump. Some of you would be okay with that. And you're going to somehow say that you're not fascist? What, what is your definition of fascism? Is your definition of fascism that which, uh, oh, uh, they have to support concentration camps, otherwise they're not fascist? Is, is that where your mind is at? And some people will say, well, what about what Antifa has done? Did Antifa storm the Capitol building? Did Antifa push to install Hillary Clinton as president? Or as dictator? Did they push anything even remotely close to that? I mean, yeah, they've caused a lot of destruction over, especially this past year. Yeah, and, and media should have been reporting it, uh, you know, in a reasonable way, but they weren't. Oh, uh, mostly peaceful protests. Yeah, media could have done a lot better. That's for damn sure. But you can't claim that, that, that Antifa are acting like fascists when they're not promoting any sort of dictator. They're not saying we should install anyone. They're not pushing to have the government control social media and mainstream media. They caused a lot of damage, a lot of property damage, and they, they really got in the faces and still continue to get in the faces of people that they perceive as being fascist and pushing fascist ideas. You know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Antifa, or I should specifically say Black Bloc Antifa, you know, because I, I, I mean, there are, there are a number of people who consider themselves Antifa who are completely peaceful. But they're not calling for a dictator. They're not calling to install someone as the leader of the country. They don't have any allegiance to a person like so many Trump supporters do. So many Trump supporters have essentially pledged allegiance to Trump and not the country. Because you somehow have it in your heads that Trump has the country's best interest at heart, and therefore, if you support Trump, then you support the country. That's the kind of mindset some of you are in. And you just don't realize how fascist that is. Trump himself may not be fascist, but the way that he gets support kind of turns him into a fascist leader. You want him to be installed. 